Hello, how are you guys today? We are going to do a meal protocol video, which is simply the least inflammatory diet you can possibly follow. If you're in a very poor state of health, if your liver is literally failing, this is what you can eat and how you should do it. This is like a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me since I don't offer them anymore. You know, if people are asking me questions, how to fix their health, how to heal their health, this is step one. This is the very first thing you should be doing. So let me show you guys the prep first and then we will discuss the meal. You only need two things, the leanest beef you have access to and some organic white potatoes. Here we have the 93.7 lean blend from Frankie's Free Range Meat. We also have 95.5 lean blend. I prefer using the 95.5, the top round. Digests really easily. It has a nice palatable flavor. So we're gonna cook up one pound and then divvy it up throughout today and tomorrow. And for the potatoes, the only thing to keep in mind is you want either russet or Idaho potatoes. You have to make sure that the flesh of the potato is white. Obviously, when you peel the flesh of the potato, you want to see that it's white. You don't want Yukon gold. You don't want sweet potato. You don't want any of those. It has to be a white russet or Idaho potato. And this is the main hurdle that some people have to get past depending on where they live, their access to potatoes. Red potatoes are also okay because they do have a white flesh, but these are ideal. So for the prep, we're gonna peel the potatoes, cut them up. As you guys can see, this beef is very, very, very lean. Uh, it is a little bit more expensive though. This is I think around 12 or $13 a pound on Frankie's free range meat. The 93.7 is a bit cheaper. And if you wanna go even lower priced, 85.15 is kind of acceptable, but mainly if you're not in like a really, really deprived state of health, you know, then it would be okay to go a little fattier. So we have our white potatoes peeled and chopped up here, simmering away in some glass bottle mineral water with a little bit of land salt. You don't want ocean salt because it tends to be polluted. We also put a tiny bit of salt in the meat. This is the least inflammatory cooking method because it's hydrating the potatoes. You know, if you were to bake these, they're gonna be a little dry. You might dehydrate yourself. You know, and if you were to fry these in oil, they're gonna be dry and you're gonna have a high fat content, which is not so great when starting off. Yeah, you could do those things down the road, even make some mashed potatoes with like a little bit of coconut oil, but initially for a few weeks, for a month or two, until you're really feeling better, you don't wanna add extra fat and you don't wanna you know, dehydrate the food in any way, which is also why we have you know, this meat on a medium to low heat and we don't want to get any caramelization on this. We want to preserve the proteins, keep as much moisture in the meat as possible, and make sure it's easy to digest. And you could leave a little bit of red, a little bit of pink in the meat. You know, you don't necessarily want it to be fully cooked through all the way. And ground beef is the better choice because of its palatability. You will feel full a lot faster on, you know, a quarter pound of ground beef. You might be stuffed but if it was a one pound steak, you might be able to swallow the whole thing before your body realizes it, is it has enough food. And I would say one and a half to two potatoes per meal and a quarter to a third of a pound of meat. So if you wanna cook everything in advance, that's easy, you could do that too. Um, and then divvy it up between meals or you could just you know, cook it every single time you're gonna eat, a little fresh or a little more enjoyable. Now you don't necessarily have to, you know, chop these potatoes up and use a pan like this. This is just the fastest and, and quickest way to do this. Of course, you could just boil potatoes the traditional way and then even just take them out of the skin. Uh, that might be the least time consuming. So as you guys could see, there's a small amount of moisture in this plate, not nearly as much as when you normally sear or cook ground beef a lot. And usually when a knife goes through the potatoes and they're tender, they're, they're pretty much finished but I'm gonna taste one. So that's the prep guys. We have our simmered beef and simmered potatoes. Now we're gonna portion it into one meal. Now we did a very similar video a few months ago where a lot of this is probably going to sound familiar. However, we omitted the rice and beans in favor of white potatoes because of the arsenic content in rice as well as the aluminum content and some other potential pollutants in the beans, although that's not as much of an issue. So, we have the food here, and keep in mind the portion is going to be important. We'll discuss that first. We have some masticum, and then we have some water kefir, water kefir grains, some more glass bottle mineral water, and then we have a variety of supplements here, and uh, we'll touch on that last. So 
depending on what your health issues are, will dictate how much you want to eat. It could be half of this. It could be a quarter of this. It could be more. Uh, you want to give your body as little food as it needs to maintain its health. You know, if you overeat, then the candida could overgrow, the fungal infections could get worse, SIBO, your digestive issues can get worse with too much food. That's probably the biggest thing that people overlook is that if you overeat, it will be very difficult to heal your gut, especially when you're incorporating probiotics because then it's easy for the bad yeast, the bacteria to maintain its hold in your stomach. So whether you're doing a smaller amount or a larger amount, it's safe to start with, I would say, a bit less than this, two to three times per day, and then based on your hunger and satiation and how you're sleeping, you can change that. What you probably will need with every meal to start is maybe a half teaspoon of masticum. This keeps the food moving through the stomach. You know, it's not gonna sit there, it's not gonna stay by your liver, by the entrance of the small intestine, and just kinda get stuck. This is what the masticum's for. Keep the gut motility normal in a person's hypothetical digestive system where it's not functioning normally. And what you might need at the start initially to even eat carbohydrates or what you can include further down the line is water kefir grains as well as water kefir. I know there's many problems with dairy that we've discussed in the past. Uh, this is available on frankiesrangefoods.com or you can make it yourself. But it's basically a diverse strain of probiotics that replicates the gut bacteria of a naturally healthy person. You know, I had to drink this stuff every day for like six months straight. Now I only have it a few times a week, but I still do need it. You know, there will be a point where you won't have to drink it, but for some reason, if you're not able to eat carbohydrates, the issue is most likely that you do not have a properly made and fermented water kefir, and then the water kefir grains add a slightly more diverse range. Although I have healed my gut on just the water kefir, adding like a teaspoon of water kefir grains per meal is like that extra oomph. So what we're basically doing is we're giving our body the very basic nutritional needs with animal protein in the beef, a small amount of fat and cholesterol, because regardless of how lean the beef is, even if it's 99% lean, there's still saturated fat and cholesterol in it that's adequate. Of course, the amino acids. And then the potatoes are the most balanced food source, to my knowledge, of minerals, starches, fiber, everything you need to feed the gut bacteria, to maintain gut motility, to be healthy. The only thing is, you might need macronutrient digestive enzymes. If your liver is really messed up, if your pancreas is messed up, you're not gonna be producing the enzymes. And these can also be used interchangeably almost with water kefir. The thing is that there's protein and fat digesting enzymes in this, whereas the water kefir will only help with carbohydrates. So using these in combination or one or the other, you can kind of figure out. Uh, I'm currently doing one or two of these capsules per meal and then maybe a cup to two cups of water kefir per meal. And that seems to be enough to replicate the digestive system of a person that's functioning, that is producing enzymes, that does have the right strains of probiotic gut bacteria. So don't act like you're adding extra or doing things unnatural. This is as close as possible as you can get to a natural digestive system. The other supplements, all the deficiencies, all that stuff might have to be addressed quickly. It might not have to be. You know, you could have a severe B vitamin deficiency where you're going to want to take like our natural B complex as well as uh, a few individualized B vitamins. You might need some vitamin C or magnesium. You could need selenium and molybdenum. Hair mineral analysis will dictate that, uh, but usually the B vitamins are the safe thing to start with. I would say minimum two or three weeks into this. Uh, but what you also might need initially is activated charcoal. So if you're not sleeping, if you're getting bad headaches, uh, you might need it every meal, one capsule per meal at the end of the meal. Or what I do now is before bed, I'll have two or three capsules with some masticum with the meal. And then an hour later, I'll have a little more masticum. And, and of course, drinking plenty of high quality glass bottled mineral water throughout this. I think I forgot. Let me just touch a little bit more on the specific volume of food to be eating. If you're doing okay, you want to go with your natural appetite. Eat as much as you're comfortable with. And that's perfectly fine with this because the palatability of this lean beef and potatoes, you're not going to overeat. It's basically impossible to do that. There are some specific rare circumstances where your liver is really, really messed up where you might have to eat like a small amount or you want to start with like a, a lower amount and actually measure it out. Okay, I'm having 
you know, 50 grams of beef and 100 grams of potatoes. And then maybe go up from there every meal and see how you react to it and find the amount that's perfect for you. So uh, the measuring is important in those the rare cases of severe health issues, but most people are not going to have to do that. Now, the main thing I wish I knew from the start of my journey was definitely the water kefir. That has helped the most, but also don't overdo the protein. You know, you're better safe than sorry at keeping the amount to a minimum because even though the protein is healthy, it is very hard on the digestive system and it is very hard on the liver. So less is better. If you're craving protein, by all means, you can have it, but you're probably not going to be craving protein. So, you know, the things that can be done down the road, you guys have seen my more recent day of eatings. I definitely have cheat meals. I can go to restaurants now. I have a lot more variety in my diet. You know, those things I mentioned earlier, you could add some oil to the potatoes. You could fry the potatoes. You could add collagen broth and mash it and make mashed potatoes. But this is the very, very basic thing to start with. You know, you could have caramelized steaks. You could have a little bit fattier meat. I guess we have to try this, right, before. This top round blend, it's, it's the same cut that's used in roast beef. So it's very palatable, decent amount of flavor, but it's plain, you know, it's plain. My version of this meal now, I would take like a big steel bowl, mix this all together, put a little bit of collagen broth in it, and then just have it almost like a, uh, a soup or something a little uh, more moist. We said this earlier too, make sure you're using ground beef to start. One, because it's you know easily digestible as it's already ground up, and two, the palatability is drastically different than the whole cuts of meat. We might try this for like a month straight, just to show you guys, I might do the meat and potatoes every single meal for like 30 days. That's something I wanted to do. And we went over a few things, but just to simplify it, eat this, have a teaspoon of masticum, drink plenty of water. If you can't sleep, have some charcoal before bed. And if you're not digesting the food, if your stomach's really messed up, you might need some digestive enzymes and some water kefir for probiotics. Thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully this helps some of you guys out. Uh, chances are if you guys send me a DM on Instagram or you email me or you contact me in any way, I will be showing you this video. So this should be plenty of information for you guys to fix your health and start feeling better very quickly. And if you have any questions about variants or specifics, you can watch my day of eatings and I've done so many uh, different videos on the supplements as well and all different types of protocols, morning routines, that type of stuff. And if you guys go to frank you will see all of my businesses where we have the lean meats on Frankie's Syringe Meat. We have the water kefir on Frankie's Syringe Foods. Of course, all of the supplements are on organ supplements. And then we have some natural hygiene products, Frankie's Naturals. And the Wi-Fi shielding attire that you see me wearing, which is a very important part of fixing your health, is available on wifishielding.com. And at a very minimum, guys, you want a t-shirt, underwear, and a head cover, which is pretty affordable to start off and will have you feeling a whole lot better very quickly. Thanks so much for joining guys. I'll see you soon.